curtains are beginning to be drawn on Gran Turismo concept. I'm glad that um, this uh, ending stage of the game isn't as difficult as the course licenses, you know, the beginning stage of the game was. So it pleases me that I'm not having to scream and shout and let it all out. So let's go for a uh, an NSX with a roof scoop because those are the best kind of NSX. It's a track I don't particularly like, but I, I prefer it this way round to reverse. So, uh, you know, that's fine. I'll be able to handle all of this power. Like, uh, like the opposite of Kanye West. My entire channel is based on making references. Is that a Ferrari? No, no it's not. For a second there, it looked like a, uh, a 595 uh, Maranello, but it turned out the resolution of the screen, you know, the, the, the pixels, were just, uh, were just misleading me, and it was actually that um, VW Nardo thing from, uh, I mean, obviously not from Project Gotham Racing 3, since that came out uh, a wee bit of time after this game. But, uh, you know, I know it best from PGR3. PGR3 had, like, the small... Uh, I guess not. I kind of make sense that PGR1 and PGR3 had the, uh... The smallest car lists out of the series. Because they were the first game on, a Of, of each, like, console generation to come out. Like, I mean, PGR1 came out, like, a couple of years into the original Xbox's lifespan, I think. I can't actually remember. This thing has the most tail-happy rear end. Yeah, PGR1 came out in, like, 2001. I can't remember when the original Xbox came out then, but it was maybe a launch title. And then PGR3 was a, uh, a launch title for, um... The 360. So like, I guess like they didn't know the hardware they were working with, and uh, you know, I really, I'm really struggling on these low speed corners because every time I turn in, the back end just swings around. Um, at least the game doesn't give a shit if I cut all the corners. So that's fine. Um, you know, and they had to model the stuff for the HD generation and that kind of thing. But PGR2 had like. A lot, a lot of cars, you know? And PGR4 had not just a lot, a lot of cars, but a lot, a lot of bikes as well. well a decent chunk. A handful of bikes. Uh, let's not be too generous. It had a handful of bikes. As well as all the cars. So, like, it's, it's a little disappointing that those games didn't have uh, very much uh, in the way of vehicles. I think PGR1 is more forgivable than uh, PGR3. Other racing launch titles for this 360, I can't actually remember. Burnout Revenge? Burnout Revenge has fucking ridiculous load times. I just, I don't understand how it takes that game so long to load the stuff that actually gets loaded. Shit, I fucked up. I tried to bump a nigga and fucking hit him backfired hardcore. So now, now we're gonna have to try some funny stuff to try and claw it back. Uh, I've been karmaed. The karma chameleon has caught up to me. You know, get it? It's like in that one song where he goes, karma, 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 chameleon. Red, gold, and green. I'm gonna keep singing. I don't care if it's not relevant, I'm gonna keep singing. Okay, I figured out how this car works. When you're accelerating, the back end grips up. But anytime you're not accelerating, the back end is slipperier than uh, a wet fish. Let's go with the obvious. So basically, to catch the slides, you just need to punch it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch this guy. I mean, I'm not gonna not try, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I have. 
Oh no, I haven't. I uncaught him at the last possible second. Shit, shit, shit. Inside. Don't go wide, don't go wide. Okay. I thought I was going to lose that race for a second. Uh, but then I didn't, so it all turned out okay. No, wait. He's trying to overtake. Woo. Woo. That was lucky. Jesus Christ, that was lucky. I'm going to stop trying to spin people and actually choose to drive decent cars from now on. That's my New Year's resolution. Ugh. Yeah, well, we've learned a lesson about driving, uh... We've learned a lesson about driving Honda NSXs with roof scoops. Uh, the, the lesson we've learned is don't. Because they are undrivable. What the fuck is that? It's got cool windows, I want to drive it. You know, I, I like window tints. I don't know. I don't know what it is, I just like it. This is a Mitsubishi CZ3. Ooh. I already unlocked this car from the course licenses, right? I already unlocked the CZ3 from the fucking course licenses anyway. I don't know why it's giving it to me from doing a race. Ooh, that's bullshit. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Let's see if we can find that car with the, uh... Where's the next track? Midfield? Midfield reverse, though. Uh, where would it be? The one with the tinted window. Probably concept car. So this is worth a look. This was not worth a look. Concept cars, please. Boop. There it is. Oh wow, it actually has some decent power as well. The Honda V6 IMA mid dual note. Oh cool, look, two tone. Oh yeah, I'm 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 down to clown with this. I'm gonna take this out for a spin. Be like that car that I really wanted to build in um Oh man but making it red changed the window tint to a normal color. What a fuck up. Top ten anime mistakes. Oh wait, no, it depends on what angle you look at the mirrors. Look at the windows from. Okay, that's fine. Ah oh, shit, it's got some kind of electric power boost thing going on. It's got curves! It's got curves is what it's got. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Oops. So if I don't break enough of the corners, what's going to happen is that uh, I'm going to be going down the straights and suddenly the amount of power I have is going to be chopped in two. Alright, okay. I get it. I get it. I'm with you. I'm there. That's pretty neat. You know, the, sometimes Gran Turismo gets the details right. And sometimes, like when they say that the Ford Ka is an American car, sometimes they get the details wrong. But usually they get them right. Uh, Enthusia Professional Racing got all of the details right, all of the time, but, you know. No one cares about Enthusia Professional Racing, because no one's ever heard of it. I'm going to run out of curves on this straight, so let's see what happens to the speed when it runs out. I mean, the only other car I'm battling is another one that has the same system, so... Okay, I guess he managed to hold on to his curves. Oh, look, at, look, at, look at you, Mr. I didn't crash through the first chicane like a fucking moron. Wow, incredible. You actually know how to drive, I'm so impressed. This car loses the back end at low speed really easily too. I don't know what's going on with this game's physics, but it really doesn't like rear end traction. Oh well. Still feels better than trying to play a Forza game uh, after 2, I'll tell you that. You know what they say, Gran Turismo is Forza, if Forza had traction. There's a 
or something. It's, it's, the saying goes something like that. It's a well-known saying, okay? We should all know it. Some ancient Chinese philosopher said that. Promise. You can trust me. Final lap. Walk this guy on the straight. Try not to have a mahusive fuck up through the chicane. Nope. Haven't managed that. But why would I? Drifting like the Drift King, which I proved I was on. Um, I proved I was a Drift King on Need for Speed a while back. So you know, I guess it's okay if I want to show that I'm the Drift King again. Well, I'd appreciate it if I wasn't drifting on high-speed turns because I'm going to lose a lot of speed from doing that. Yeah, this car is really struggling with keeping itself in line and I could have a problem with my opponent because of that. It's going to be another nail-biting finish. And not quite as nail-biting as the, uh, the race in the NSX, but still pretty tight. I mean, not that tight. I've managed to pull a gap on it now. So, I was a little bit let down with the, uh, the window tint of that car. You know, it turned out not to be a window tint per se, you just have to look at the windows at a funny angle and you'd see that they were purple, which is a little disappointing, I reckon. I reckon Morty. <sighs> so what we got? A Toyota Supra? One that I already have, but probably in a different livery. Yep, it's a Castrol one. All right, so I got the one that everyone likes instead of the different one. And it's the uh, R35 Concept, which I already got from winning the course license for it. Which is actually really hard to get, so this is a real fucking slap in the face. I'm a little bit angry about that. I apologize. So, oh, maybe I didn't unlock it. Maybe I just drove it for the challenge and then unlocked an unrelated car. But it still feels like a waste to get it because I've already driven it in the game and I hate it so much now that I've had to drive it in the game that I never want to see it again for the rest of my life. So next week, we're going to be going to Tokyo Route 246 reversed. 